I can't be specific with this title and who I think it refers to because it's called Wild Magic Dance just because we have, from what I can tell, 10 to 15 insanely powerful magic users in the capital going ham right now. It could be anyone, but I have to assume it's Asta. You'd be dancing with them swords, you know, like, ha, ha, ha. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again, Black Clover, episode 22, Wild Magic Dance. Last episode, we had the kingdom under attack by some unknown assailant who has some sort of cursed or magic, uh, cursed or undead magic to allow him to create like zombie type, <laughs> zombie like beings who are attacking the city who have definitely killed a lot of people and magic users. And so we have some of literally the best magic users of the... Crimson Lions, Silver Eagles, and the Golden Dawns, also Black Bulls, fighting them. So I'm super excited, especially to see Leopold, Fuego Leon, and Asta in action against, and the other guy, the enemy. I want to know more about all these folks and just to get a lot deeper into the show. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Always an option for you guys. And if you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just smash that like button down below and leave a nice comment, it really does help me with the algorithm. Thank you so much. It means more than you guys even know. Let's hop into this Black Clover episode 22, Wild Magic Dance. We're getting deep in the show. I'm happy. I need to catch up like to... I need to catch up to Luke, that's the bruh, if you guys know him, Black Clover Reactioner. I need to catch up to Neil, Desi, is a Desi. I, you know, I definitely need to catch up also another awesome Black Clover Reactor who's just now starting, Nar well, he's pretty deep into Naruto, but you know, it's, um, that's just, I need to catch up. I'm so behind is what I'm trying to say. Here we are. And it's a Black Bull, cause he was trying to bait out the Magic Knights, cause he hates the Magic Knights. Yeah, little do you know. He's like, why aren't they getting back up? Actually, Asa's is probably the best person to fight these zombies now that I think about it. He even has knowledge. He's he knows of the anti magic. These pompous pricks. Let's see them in action. Solid, who uses water. Uh, Nebra, who uses mist, and then Nazo, who we haven't seen yet, but I assume also uses water. Okay, go ham, Klaus. I want to see Fat Boy in action over there. <laughs> Alex about to go ham. <laughs> In that case, ooh. We all came to the same realization. So that just means everyone can go ham. Spiral flames. Solanea. It's so hot, it's like a laser beam. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they're snapping on this episode. Fierce spiral lance. Maybe a little maybe a little sharper, a little more pressure going into him. He uses glass. I remember they said that right. I love how his grimoire is white. Elegance and beauty. Let's see it. Vere Vere Fleur. Ve sand armored heavy guard. He loves his, his sand guards. Yeah, we know you know loves his tornadoes. Love me my mimosa. Oh, she uses like thorns. Earth, raging mother goddess. I love it. it reminds me like Deanne from uh, Seven Deadly. I like how she's the blue rose and she uses thorns. I like that. I love the color of her grimoire too. Holy shit. That's like an aquamarine. Holy shit. Breer creation magic corpse hunting briar trees. Okay, Charlotte. See, anytime I see Solid though do his shit, that's cool. I think Noelle's gonna be able to do that too, because anything water, she she possibly can, right? That's so sick. Mercury magic, rain of silver, mercury. Leo. Rujan. See, like, how would people be able to fight these 
amazing magic users. I, Fogolian is kind of fucking fire, no pun intended. He's fucking lit. Also, no pun intended. <laughs> Stupidly straightforward, you love to see it. Wraith magic. That's a good title for it. Wraith. Yep, because it, it's because it's his mana that goes in there, so it cuts through it. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Ooh, that was close. This is a different Wraith Corpse. Number four, Jimmy. Why did Nero even block his eyes? Why did the eye on his eye and the two eyes on Jimmy remind me of uh, some of the shit from like Yu-Gi-Oh? Some of the, what were they called? The items of evil, the talisman, you know? What were they called? Damn, I forget. Like, it looks like Pegasus's eye from Yu-Gi-Oh, it really does. Every rose has its thorns. That's what I was saying earlier. It makes so perfect sense that she uses uh, thorns. You know, silver eagles make sense. They have silver hair. This is what he tried to use on Asta last episode. That seems really strong. Loaded with curse power. So just. Yep, that's dangerous because you can really lose blood like really fast with that. What's the point in getting hurt if not to protect others? Come on. In terms of strategy, though, that's a good strategy. If you can hit just even one of these curse shells, they can really bleed out. You can really just play the attrition game, you know? Uh, okay, that's like a killable moment. She wants to help, but then she gets insecure because of the constant berating her family does. But no, Noelle, you can do this. You can do this, Noelle. I have faith. That man's a pimp. That has to be the thumbnail right there. <laughs> that man is. A... She deserved that. She deserved that. Not a time to be thinking about your family issues. Definitely not a time to be thinking about family issues. Number one priority should be fighting and protecting people. I'm glad someone outside of her family, but also someone super high up is telling her this, because she needed this. That is true. He's the one who proved that to you. Now you can prove that back to him. Hell yeah, I love that. I also love, I just noticed, all the Silvas have like that uh, piece in their hair that's... Noelle doesn't have it in her hair, she has it as earrings, but they all have that piece. I love that. It must be like something for the family. Uh, sea protecting lair, sea dragon's lair. That shit is awesome. And it's perfect for the situation too, I completely forgot she had that. Bakasta. Leo is really dope. No need to thank me, that's what rivals do. <laughs> and he was gonna beat his ass anyway. I love dual wielding. Dual wield. Fucking Beyblade style? It's Beyblade! <laughs> Bro, he's actually a fucking Beyblade right now. <laughs> I love that. I just have the Beyblade theme song stuck in my head now. That's hilarious. That's awesome. It's too interesting. Jimmy's not the only one we have. We have... Oh, he... He really has some of the craziest designed... I like this. 
I can't think of any specific video game reference I can when it comes to cursing wraith magic and summoning shit But there are so many video games where like the undead magic will summon like special un like I love this like it's so cool So we got we, we got oh man, this is this is a fight that's gonna last episodes I love episodes lasting fights man. I love how meta meta breaking fourth wall breaking the uh um Petite Clover can be because like he was just like he was like my name's Austin. Nice to meet you Yo, wait, you haven't actually said your name in the show yet. You want to give us the exclusive scoop? <laughs> and then they of course they do his typical Petite Clover fucking hilariosity after that But his name is Rod is or as Austin would say Rod is this <laughs> And then say raw it's just hilarious, but uh but I I love how Similar to the other magic like his undead Wraith magic has a lot of different levels to it like Fogolion. I don't even want to try like I love how It's I don't want to say simple because simple isn't the right term to use But some of the magic that does seem simpler like let's say holy magic bullet spiral flame You know, it's literally just a spiral flame, but then we start getting into like the OP OP magics and then they start having like Latin names, you know, like uh, um, how Hamen Cassius had the glass. He has had a special name. Fuegolion's had a special name. Uh, Nozel's had a special name where it was like, Fuelo! You know, it was like, it, it seems cool. Like, I know a lot of Harry Potter spells have Latin roots. And so, like, if you actually pay attention, you can tell a lot, a lot of what the spell's properties are just based off the name itself. You know, like, I, I definitely think there's attention to detail like that in this show as well. And I, I do appreciate it. And I love how they're not all just like simplistic titles, like Spiral Flame, you know, like I like saying like whatever the fuck they said earlier, that sounded really cool. But we have Jimmy, we had Alf, we, we had Jimmy who just got his ass beat by the fucking Beyblade Asta. And now we have Alfred who has some sort of lightning magic, whereas Jimmy had curse magic. So like we're seeing so many magic. We saw so, we saw all of our peeps pop off this episode. Alec Dora, Cassius, um, Klaus, you know, Nozel, Nebra, Solid. I'm trying to remember who else popped. Soul, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte. I love Charlotte so far. Like her powers were awesome. The Briar Tree, whatever the fuck that was, that was so dope. That was awesome. I love Noelle and I love her having her own little kill of a moment in this episode, which was much needed. I love how Fuegolian was the one who snapped her out of it because he's someone who besides Nozel probably has, and obviously William, has some of the highest uh, influence amongst all the magic knights in the entire kingdom. So for him to say, you're not worrying about what those fucking pussy ass Silva said to you, right? This is a battlefield. Like he gave her what she needed to say, but he wasn't rude as if like a Silva would say it, you know, like, like I just... He said, I like that. I appreciated it. Shout out to the Vermilions. They're awesome so far. I didn't write down anything this episode besides Rodis's name, but I love anime that has, like, you know, I think back to Naruto. I think back to DBZ, you know, all the time, like, just watching them week by week. I would be so mad when a fight would last. Like, I'd be like, no, I have to wait. Oh my God. I can specifically remember friends coming to my house on Adult Swim Toonami whatever it was when Naruto was airing and it was specifically during the Sasuke retrieval arc when it was Neji versus um, Kido Maru I specifically vividly remember this is like bringing back repressed memories for me like being pissed that it was lasting so long and I was like come on I want to see it so bad right? so I'm so glad that I'm so behind it's one of the benefits of binging a show you know I could I could finish this episode edit it do whatever I want and then I could watch the next one right now like you know I it brings back nostalgia, but it also is like the best parts of the nostalgia, you know, like shouts out to Black Clover. I think I am going to go get some lunch, though. I'm starving and then probably edit this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate your support. Like always, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.